Hello, welcome to a video. <laughs> Here we are. I've um, I've just been enjoying this. Uh, big thank you to Paul. I think you all know Pipe Wizard Paul. Um, he sent me a lovely package with um, some tobacco in, and uh, this is. Um, Seattle Pipe Clubs, Mississippi River, and this is the Special Reserve. And um, I've had a couple of slices of it. It smokes very, very well. Nice bit of latak here. Um, thank you, Paul. Uh, Virginia's and some St. James Perique. Um, <clears throat> St. James Perique. It's um, of course, only available in um, where it's made in Louisiana, in um, St James Parish, and it's a very, very time-consuming process to uh, to make this perique for the mixture. I think it's a fermentation and pressure method. Um, it, it takes a long time <laughs> to say that. So thank you, Paul. Um, many thanks for that. Um, he sent me some Millennium 2000 as well. And you know how hard that is to find. Um, thank you, mate. Some NASPC Bilbo's Blend. Uh, that one, I have yet to try that. Looking forward to it. Um, some... PCAA Tudor Castle Arcade. Now that's from 2008, so that's going to be uh, nice. Need a little bit of hydration, so yeah, a bit of a little bit of distilled water, and leave it for two, three weeks, and then come back to it and uh, see see how it is. I'm smoking uh, this. Uh, it's a Dagna X uh, Missouri Meerschaum. It's a sitter which means it sits, <laughs> like so. Uh, it's, a, it's a good little smoker. I quite like Dagna pipes. Um, they're, you know, well made. I like corn cobs, so uh, kind of the best of both, really. Uh, he also, let's put that down. Paul also sent me this, um, which is Sheraton's Eventide. This was supposed to be the replacement in the UK for Nightcap. I do have to say, um, <clears throat> it's not um, the same as Nightcap. It's probably, well, I think it's the Latakia. Latakia in this is certainly not as flavorful. I think the quantity is different for a start. Um, this is, a fine tobacco by itself, you know, if it was called something else, but I think it's been hyped up a bit and um, it's fallen slightly flat because uh, it's certainly not, it's not really like nightcap at all. Um, just for the Latakia aspect of it, it's certainly not strong enough. But there you go. Um, what can you do? Nothing. Um, another thank you um, is to Mark. And I think you probably know Mark, he sent that one. Um, well, Ron sent it in, in his package. That's from 2014. That will be cracked in the summer, which uh, I'm looking forward to. And then the big one was from my good friend in Iowa, Ron, who um, sent me my SP order. And um, the order, I'll go through this first, the loose stuff. Um, you might laugh, it's uh, a <laughs> Lane 1Q. It's an absolute American classic 1Q. A lot of people can't stand it. But, you know, there's a reason why people have been smoking it for years. And I plan to try, you know, to get into it, if, if you like. Um, with this, it's two ounces. And then I'm going to sell her these two. And then in the summer, crack these two. Because I, when did I try it? I tried it when it was a good eight, ten years ago. Didn't like it at all. Um, 
But, you know, it's, it's always it's important to go back and try these old style blends that um, you've written off. I also got this. This is Lane 125th anniversary. Picked up a couple of those. Um, this is nice. I've tried this before, um, not that long ago. It's a it's a vapor, and quite a reasonable one. Perhaps not in the same vein as something like a Scudo, which um, you know is probably twice the price of this, to be honest. Um, but no, it's uh, it's quite a nice vapor. So a couple of those. Now, this year is all about not opening new tins and things and trying to work my way through the bags and uh, samples and things I've got and also smoke more outside if you like. And one thing I do like doing, um, and people may even laugh at this, <coughs> is smoke Carter Hall. <laughs> this one. <laughs> Um, this has been a, a legendary tobacco for for um, years and years and years, and I've got I've got four of them. Um, <clears throat> now the trick with this is you you stick your nose in the pouch and you go, oh, that's horrible. It's, I don't like the topping at all. Um, but then after three, four, five puffs, the topping goes. You you kind of burn it off. Whatever's in it, I. I I don't know. It's just made by John Middleton since 1856. So, you know, it's still around. People still like it. It's very popular. And um, one of these pouches costs $4.15, which would make you absolutely sick if you live in the UK. Um, that equates to about... About three pounds thirty pence, maybe slightly less than that. <laughs> so you know, three pounds thirty pence for a pack of that, I think, is pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. So um, I quite like it, uh, if I'm honest. It's a Virginia Burley, and like I said, the topping can be burnt off slightly, and you can enjoy a pretty good smoke. Got four of them. Um, then. And uh, I think if you're in the US, you would have remembered Edgeworth Sliced. This is the closest thing to it. Um, this is Solani, the aged Burley Flake, which um, apparently is very, very similar to Edgeworth Sliced. Um, you can't get Edgeworth Sliced anymore. Uh, why? I don't know. But um, I, I've picked up two tins of these. I wasn't allowed to buy any more apparently. Um, two was the limit. So there we go, I've picked up two. Um, so yep, they're there for the seller and um, we'll see how we go with those another time. Then I picked up this, which was um, Sillum's Musketeer. Now I'm not gonna say who, <laughs> he's, he's, he's a pipe smoker who drives a truck. That's all I'm going to say. And the guy on the front reminded me. <laughs> reminded me of him. Um, I hope he's not watching. I think he'd... Uh, he would, I don't know if he'd, he might laugh. But, um, yeah, the guy on the front, he's got that big hat and he's got a clay pipe coming out of his mouth. This is actually a burly Cavendish cube cut tobacco. Now... There's not that many cube cut tobaccos around, so I'm quite keen to try this. The black Cavendish um, kind of aspect puts puts me off a bit. Ca black Cavendish and Burley, but you know, you never know. It's um, made in Germany, um, imported by F and K Cigar Co. Um, so I mean, I'm gonna I'll give that a go. Definitely uh, might need a bit of time to calm down, especially with the Burley. Uh, but yeah, the, the guy on the front, he certainly does remind me of someone we probably all know. <laughs> um, and last but not least, before I finish up, um, 
This is an absolutely wonderful tobacco. Rainer's Long Golden Flake, which is that one. Um, it's a um, blend of Virginias from the USA and from South East Africa with a little white burley and a touch of Perique. And it comes in these huge long flakes like a belt and um, they really are quite spectacular and I've got um, thought I'd pick up two of those two tins of those uh, for the seller 100 grams each um, should last well yeah once I crack it it should last yeah you know, a week you would hope but there you go yeah so that's it really guys um, thank you very much to Ron um, very very thoughtful and kind to send all that Ron and um, obviously Mark for the Frog Morton and um, and of course Paul for those loose tobaccos and you know many you know congratulations on the birth of your daughter mate I'm going to see you guys probably next week sometime and I hope you're all well take it easy all the best cheers